Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the, my um, at my HPM uh, PE 170 series photo cell with a bypass switch. Okay, so um, this is a photoelectric cell. So what this is is it's a um, a daylight switch. So it's similar to what you'd find on street lights. Okay, so what photo cells do is they turn lights on when it gets dark and turns them off when it gets light. Okay, now I did have a video of this, but I'm going to make an updated video since I put the bypass switch on it. Okay, so this is the bypass switch here. This is a um, a 2WS170. Okay, now as you can see, both this is the exact same shape as this. Okay, the difference is just the part on the front here. Okay, so, um, but they are both the same. I think they're both from the same range, which is the Aqua range, okay, which HPM make. Okay, now this one here is, um, I had to put this manual auto label on here so you know what's what. Okay, I had to put those on there. Okay, so this is the 2WS, which is the double version of, um, of this here. This is the 1WS, 170, but this is the single version. Okay, and this is the, um, the double version. Okay, um, so this is basically a rotary switch. Okay, so you basically just turn this and it turns the power on and off. Okay, it's the exact, it wires up the same way as a normal light switch though. Okay, it uses the same mix as a normal, normal light switch. Okay, now with both of these you can't see the screws because the screws are actually hidden underneath these little plastic caps here. Those caps hide the screws and they also prevent people from unscrewing it, so it helps makes it more vandal resistant. Okay, now the caps, they um, probably will fall out after a few years. Okay, I have seen a lot of these with the caps missing because they have fallen out and people haven't bothered to replace them. Okay, but the caps just hide the screws and they make it look nice as well. Okay, um, so the part number for this one is just PE170, which is the part number for that, and the part number for this is 2WS170. Okay, and they're both made by HPM. They are both IP56 rated so they're both suitable for outdoors okay and they're both watertight okay and also did make a little bit of improvement by putting some seal around the um around the sides here as well now both of these you can run with conduits because that's what all these little plugs here are for so you can run conduits and stuff through just like um like this one here okay so so um, what, with this switch here, the bottom switch is the power. So this is on off. So, so this turns the power on and off to, to this. And this is the bypass switch. So this bypasses this, okay? So when it's set on auto, it runs on the photo cell. When it's set to manual, it's just, I have to, it'll be, the lights will stay on all the time unless I switch it off from here or set it back to auto, okay? The lights that this is operating is these lights here. It's operating the Spurgs and Zodiac and of course these two Philips Fander lights here. All right, so um, that's what it's operating. This is 10 amp, of course. Now, both of them are 10 amp, okay? They're both 240 volt AC, <clears throat> okay, which is our standard power supply in Australia, <clears throat> okay? I'll just give you a quick look at them from the side here, if you can see right there. Um, this aqua switch here is also padlockable, so you can put padlocks on here to prevent people from tampering with it, okay? So that's probably what some, most people do if they put a bypass switch like this on this. They probably put two padlocks on here to stop people tampering with it. Okay, so right now it's the um, it's set to auto and the lights are actually on, but the photo cells turn them off because it's daytime. But if I set it to manual, you see they come on. Okay, so right now they're set to manual, so the lights are going to stay on. Okay, so they'll stay on until I actually switch that back to auto. All right. Now, um, now this here is operating as well, but if this is if I turn this off. It um, cuts the power, so right now the power is off. If I flick this to manual, nothing's going to happen because the power is off. Okay, because I've turned the power off. Okay, now I'll turn this back on. Okay, and when I do, it's going to turn on. Okay, now the photo cell will turn on for about 30 seconds because it needs to warm up. Okay, and um, after that 30 seconds is up, it will turn off. Okay, so we'll just let that let that do so. So um, the lights are on, so after 30 seconds, they should turn off. <coughs> yep, the time's up, and now they've gone off, okay? So they'll stay off until it gets dark, or, I'll stay, or until I set this to manual. Okay, if I leave that on manual, I've actually got to turn the lights off, but I've got to turn them off manually, okay? So I, I just keep it set to auto. Okay, 
Now this photo I see out here does make a clicking sound. Okay, now you listen to it. I'll hold you up close and I'll turn the power off. Okay, it just made it click. When I turn the power on, it's gonna click. Okay, now we'll wait another 30 seconds and it should make another click sound. Okay, that's basically it switching on and off when it clicks. Okay, so it's almost like, like similar to this when you hear that clicking sound. So we'll just wait for it to make the click. There we go, it just clicked off. Okay, so it's just like a switch. Okay, so it's basically just like this when you're clicking it. Okay, it's the same here. Okay, so um, so these are very good made by HPM, of course. And these photo cells aren't cheap. These cost around $130, okay, for the, one of these. They're not cheap. Okay, and this wasn't cheap either. Like this was about 90. Okay, so, um, so that, I guess that also depends on where you buy them from, okay? So that's basically a HPM PE 170 with a, um, a manual um, auto switch or on-off switch, okay, which is an Aqua. Okay, um, you can buy these at your local electrical wholesaler. Sailor, okay, and you'll find these in a lot of commercial places or areas where they need a photo cell to turn their lights on and off automatically. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.